What's up YouTube? Uh, just wanted to make a quick video. I don't think there's a whole lot of explanation out there on the internet or uh, any videos that I could find really that explains the cooling system of a uh, air-cooled uh, lawnmower. And so just wanted to kind of make this video, uh, not kind of, I'm making this video to try to do my best. I'm not any kind of I don't have a college degree or uh, never worked for any kind of lawnmower manufacturer or engine manufacturers or anything like that it's just from working on these mowers and what I've gathered uh, information I've gathered from working on these mowers and stuff and so uh, <clears throat> so you guys can take my word for it or you can uh, go on somewhere else it, it really makes no difference to me uh, but I just wanted to do this because uh, I don't think people really understand for one thing and also there's not really a whole lot of information out there on the internet uh, just explaining this. And so uh, as you can see the sun's out finally down here in the Texas Houston area and it's finally nice weather and so uh, fixing to uh, I'm out here you can see I got the air filter off because I'm blowing that out and getting that ready. Uh, for the summer and then also I'm fixing to uh, take this engine cover off and uh, clean out the uh, clean out the air fans and so I just thought I'd take this moment to explain to you all the cooling system of an air cooled uh, lawnmower now uh, there are liquid cooled lawnmowers and that's going to be different and so you're going to want to refer to you know probably that manufacturer that certain manufacturers website or maybe even if they if you have an owner's manual or what have you um, and even in this type of engine right here this air cooled if you are able to access Briggs and Stratton and uh, or whatever the manufacturer may be they might be able to give you this information again like I said uh, this is air cooled and I couldn't find a whole lot of information so that's why I'm making this video so let's start right here <clears throat> right here um, now if you guys watch a lot of videos especially like the ones I watch a, a mower the mud mower builders uh, they'll take this off and uh, which I don't think is a big deal for them because you know they're not using that using that mower for what it was intended for which was just cutting grass and so that's not really a big deal taking that off and for most even in regular applications it's not really that big of a deal um, but just to explain to y'all what this is because you'll see there's a screw there a screw there and a screw right there and those three screws would remove this screen and uh, what this is though is is this is like a huge vacuum right here here in a minute when I take this off I'll explain to you some more but pretty much air just gets sucked down right into this big open hole right here and it goes down and, and just all around your engine circulates air down down around the entire engine so it cools it off and so what this screen does is, is it keeps out big stuff like leaves and sticks and stuff from getting in there which is uh, you know a reason why I'm doing this blowing this out like I said taking this off and blowing this out because even with that small particles will build up like dirt and stuff like that on the fins and stuff and so and so it's good to uh, once a year take this engine cover off and blow everything out but uh <laughs> anyway so like I said this is when when this engine is running and this is spinning and uh, what this is just just creating a vacuum sucking air down through this so hold on let me see if I can uh, get this engine cover off and be right back all right guys now I got the engine cover off and you can see a little bit better you can see right here these fins right here and all that is I mean it's just like a uh, oh I guess one way to explain it is like the blower blower motor in your car that blows the air conditioning in your car uh, another way people might even be able to even though the fins look different uh, it's like a ceiling fan and uh, again you see how those are curved that's because uh, when this thing is spinning when this engine when this engine is running this flywheel is spinning It's just sucking air straight down through there 
and coming out these fins and blowing it all around this motor. And you see these air fins? This is where the piston is right here. The piston going back and forth in there and uh, firing and, and doing what it's supposed to do. And so you can imagine as it's firing and, and those little explosions in there with the gasoline, the spark plug, you know, this gets hot. And so uh, this, again, like I said, sucks air down through there and comes out these fins and then it just blows it all around this whole engine and uh, <clears throat> uh, keeps this engine cool. And uh, <clears throat> another thing that's important, um, I remember when I was growing up, and this is gonna make me sound old, but I remember growing up uh, having to shut the mower off or the mower would die, I mean, and uh, what you'd have to do is you'd have to uh, let it cool down for a little bit, come back and then start it up and then you could keep on working. Uh, and the reason why and I remember when I was growing up was is all of these fins were always exposed you could any any angle from the mo from the uh, any angle you wanted to stand at you could see the fins and also on motorcycles you'll see that on on air-cooled motorcycles you'll see these fins exposed and w that's okay for like a motorcycle where you're going highway speeds or you know even residential speeds you know 35 miles an hour or all the time you know you're going those speeds all the time uh, or even down the highway however for most riding mowers I mean you're not out there cutting grass going 65 miles an hour and so uh, so you need some help as far as directing the air around these fins and and that's where this comes in oh hold on guys sorry I got my finger over the camera uh, this right here now you'll see mine's kind of bent and modified a little bit uh, what it is is because that metal engine cover is not the original engine cover I had to modify this a little bit uh, to uh, so so my metal engine cover would fit on here uh, however it still does what it needs to do as you can see it's got the curve right here and uh, and it just goes right there and what that does again like I said it, it that air comes down through here through there and then it just goes right down and this keeps that air from just blowing out like away from the motor it actually directs the air down along those fins so that way it cools it off and so uh, so that's how the cooling system I, I know that a lot of people think it's weird saying that cooling system on an air-cooled riding lawnmower but it actually does have an air-cooled it actually does have a cooling system and uh, without that cooling system without the this and 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 that again like I said guys you would it would overheat and die then you would have to let it cool down and go back out start it up and you know it'd be a long process getting the yard cut so so these things are important and uh, it's also important like uh, like I said like what I'm about to do I'm about to uh, blow all these fins out and might need it, might not. It, it, either way, uh, once a year, it's good to just do that. And because, again, if you get junk and trash down in these fins and that air is not able to go down through those fins, you'll have overheating issues also. <clears throat> and so it's good to, uh, you can see it, I got it on the tire here. I'm going to hook it up to that air hose and... Uh, blow it all out blow it out really good and uh, clean it up and make sure that I won't have any overheating issues this year and so I've never had any overheating issues with them with this mower and I don't want to start either and so that's why I do this um, also we'll be adjusting the valves uh, and getting it just getting it ready guys I'm not gonna record that adjusting the valves there's, the valves there's a lot of videos out there on on that but I uh, did want to make this video, like I said, just explaining the cooling system. Again, guys, uh, goes down through, th through here, straight down through there, out these little fins right here, and then out all around the engine. And uh, a lot of times, I don't know if you have like, uh, when you got your mower in full throttle, and uh, like there's, if there's any leaves or anything on the driveway, you'll see them just blow away. And uh, a lot of times people, I think, they think it's the mower deck. And, uh, but if they're blowing away and you don't have that deck engaged, uh, it's not because of the mower deck. It's because of this. 
because that air like I said it's just blowing straight down around that motor and then it goes straight down to the ground and so anything that's laying on the ground like leaves or whatever they'll 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 fly away because of all that air so <clears throat> it's a very vital part vital part and important part of all of it and uh, again like I said if you don't have that if you uh, or if you don't take care of it uh, again like I said you're gonna run into cooling issues and so uh, <clears throat> so anyway guys uh, again like I said just making this quick video and just wanted to show y'all how the cooling system works on an air-cooled uh, riding mower so hope y'all enjoyed the video and uh, y'all take care